In the last part of the Explorer tutorials, I want to show you how the Explorer can be used from different users. We first log in with the admin user with the password change me. You will know this view from the other tutorials, so we see the management tree of the selected router and also see the commands which are attached to the router and if we click on the queue manager swiftlet and on usage, we can also see a bunch of commands for a specific queue. If we now open the menu again, we can see the items we have seen before, which include also authentication and the flow orchestration. If we now choose the authentication, then we can see two users which are defined. The admin, which we use at the moment, and the user. Different menus have been assigned to the users, and they also differ in the read-only column, which is not active for the admin user and active for the user. Click on the Menus tab to see the different menus. If we now open the editor for the admin menu, we see the menu we are using at the moment. If we now have a look at the Users menu, we see nothing in it, so we will stick to his start page. So let's see the usage of the Explorer app with a different account in action. We have to log out from the administrator, then click on Start, select the Explorer app and log in with User and the password is also Change Me in here. After login, we can see the management tree as before, but we have no menu, so we will stick to this view. If we click now on the router node, we see no commands attached to the router. Same if we now click on Usage of the Queue Manager Swiftlet and want to see the bunch of commands for a specific queue, we only have the command View Messages. So as a read-only user, we can only see the configuration and messages of the router, but not execute any command. This was how the Explorer can be used from different users. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time!